What's going on everybody? I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating. And in case you guys are new to my channel here, what I do is I help men attract their dream girl using natural attraction. And today we're gonna be taking a step forward with the art of being indirect turns her on. And it sure does. And I'm gonna explain why in a second. But in this video, basically what we will be covering is how men go for what they want without fear and why most men can't make her attracted. And yeah, it sucks. Most men, they just can't make her attracted, man. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to escort. Like they don't know how to go for the clothes and they have an ego about this, right? They have an ego of like, I don't need dating advice, man. Like I'm not going to get dating advice on this stuff. But then they wonder why they continue having low quality relationships or attracting toxic women or not being able to get their dream girl. They keep attracting those types of women because they have an ego about this. It's like, would you rather pay for things with time or money, right? You could spend the next decade learning this shit, but it's like you can invest yourself, invest in a coach and actually get further in your dating life so much quicker. It's almost like you time travel, but people have an ego go about this. They're like, oh, I don't need to do this because I'm a man and like men don't do these things. It's like, okay, bro, like live in a shitty life for the rest of your life. Most of you know the signs of when a girl is interested. What you actually need is the strategy on how to actually escalate to the number, to the clothes, or actually to a relationship. If you are too nice or you struggle to make the girls you want interested in you, then this is clearly for you. And I'll give you the strategies on how to actually build attraction and what to say with women who find you attractive and who you find attractive. So let's jump right into it. The first first thing and the most important thing is that men go for what they want. And I got this question from a viewer and the question goes, I met this hot realtor at the dentist office working on my teeth. I asked for her name and played it like I was looking for another home. I asked her for her name and number. Could I transition this to be flirty and express my interest? I didn't have much time to talk. And the reason that this will not work lines perfectly with this video, because like I said, men go for what they want, but they also know how to flirt. When you make her believe that she's going to get a sale because she's a real estate agent, and then you try to get get a date, she's not going to respect that, dude. She's literally going to see that, he, like, you asked for her name and played it as if you were looking for another. Do you think she's stupid? Do you think that she's going to be like, oh, yeah, like, totally, man, let's go on a date. Like, she's going to be like, so you literally lied to me and acted like you were interested in a home just to get in my pants, basically. How do you think that's going to look to her? Do you think she's going to respect that, that you manipulated her from the start? Do you think she's going to be like, man, this is my dream man right here. I, he manipulated me from the start and wow, I'm in love with him. Like, that's not her dream man right there. Women fall for men they respect, not men that bounce around the truth like a nice guy. You say you didn't have much time to talk, but you talked enough to know that she was a realtor. And this means you could have been building attraction. You could have been building attraction in this moment. Chances are, if you knew natural attraction, she would have actually given you her number and you had a great chance to get the date. But literally, you're like, oh, I didn't have that much time to talk. That's just a bullshit excuse of you basically being like, yeah, I just didn't build attraction. I had time to talk because you found out she was a realtor, but you clearly didn't go for it because you were what? Probably too timid. And I used to be timid too, man. I used to have fear going for what I want. This was me back in 2017. I used to be the man who tried to be nice in order to get the girl, right? Like if you were getting rejected or friend zoned, it's because you are being way too nice and being too nice isn't you. Yes, you're probably kind and like you care about people, I hope, but if you're just too nice and you're seeking people's validation, you're putting everyone ahead of you, then you're never going to get to where you want to be in your life, whether that's with dating or your career or just your personal and professional life in general, in all aspects. And I used to be the man that I didn't believe in myself. I was like, oh, this dude's talking tough, so he clearly must be better than me. And then I would just submit. It's like, dude, like, no, like you have to go for what you want in life and you have to have the spine to actually go for it and make it happen. I was seeking people's validation. I was living a life quiet desperation. I knew that I didn't want to live my life like this. Fucking skinny as hell, getting rejected. I just got dumped by my ex in this picture. Like it really broke my heart. I thought I loved her to death, just got dumped. And it's like, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And I didn't know who I was and I didn't know why women weren't attracted to me. Like I remember there was this one time where I got dumped by my ex and then once I got dumped by my ex, her friend was like, oh, what happened? I saw her at like a party and I was like, she's like, oh, what happened? And I was like, give me your number and I'll tell you. And I'm literally like, I get her number and I was like, it doesn't matter because it's about us now. I started flirting with her and she was like, what the fuck? Like you literally told me you're going to tell me what happened and then now you're trying to flirt with me. Like that's just weird. It really backfired in my face and I lived in fear of what would happen if I went for what I truly wanted and no surprise, I never got anywhere until I actually took action and this is me as of recently traveling the world with my girlfriend in Cabo in Mexico swimming with a dolphin right here my girlfriend my beautiful girlfriend man who's all over the wall here but I got a new place by the way guys so this is my kind of like my new background as of right now I got the plaques and everything and autographs all the cool shit going on here so and like an amazing view of the city if I could turn the camera around if you watch my Instagram stories and all that stuff like you'll see like the city and everything it's pretty awesome but that's who I was and who I am now I literally wrote a best-selling book I'm coaching over a hundred men now in my program and teaching them how to actually 
apply natural attraction and win in the relationship that they want. And I've also taught it to Weston in my program too. He said he had an amazing trip to Scottsdale with the most recent girl he's been seeing. Literally, he got into a relationship and he's driving McLarens and he's crushing it in his professional life. But he was like, dude, I can't seem to attract the type of girl that I want. He was living a life of quiet desperation. He's like, why can't I attract a 10? Like, why can't I get the girl that I've always dreamed of? And I was like, dude, it's because you don't know natural attraction. So after we got him on the program, we taught him natural attraction. Look at him now. He's crushing it in his relationship and he's driving sports cars like every man's dream just doing amazing. Oliver too, he was way too nice, just like I used to be. Came into the program, he's like, dude, I don't know why. It's just like every time I talk to a chick, she just rejects me and turns me down. I really have no idea what to do and, and what to say and how to talk to her and talk, how to talk to women. And just, I want a girlfriend is what he said. He just was in a really desperate state of mind. And so we got him out of that, built that confidence. And now look at him. He's like, went on two first dates, two second dates last weekend. Saw one of them almost every day this week. She's spending the night for the first time after the date tomorrow. Like, dude, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you guys need help, with dating and attraction and you've been watching my content for a while and you know that this is for you there's a calendly link in the description below book in a call with me we'll hop on a call and we'll get you going in the program i think you can break down payments to like as low as like 170 bucks per month for however long it takes to pay off obviously but like you can break it down to that because we partner with a platform that lets you do that and so it's like if you guys know you can at least do that and you know that something has to change and you're serious about this book in that call with me let's get you going in the program so we can change this stuff once and for all like i'd hate to see you go the next decade or two trying to figure this shit out and attracting toxic women and wasting so much money on dating with women that are just going to blow you off and reject you eventually and find that quality woman so you can just invest fully into that relationship and so on that note i'm selling kim america's face of dating make sure to also check out my best-selling book i forgot to include that right here it's been laying right here but make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video